my friends and welcome back to another great episode. This week we're going to be talking about DIY fall decor and how you can use Dollar Store, Goodwill, and Quick Crate. And I know you're curious, how are we going to use Quick Crate? I can't wait to show you. So let's get started. For home improvement advice where we help you save more so that you can do more in your home, hit that bell and subscribe right this minute because you don't want to miss out on one episode that we deliver each week. I know that each of us has our favorite season and frankly, mine is summer, but a very close second is fall, which is why I can totally do this DIY fall decor thing with a happy heart. I wanted to show you a few easy projects that you could do using things that you find at Goodwill and the dollar store, and then Quick Crete, which I know, when did we start using concrete to do Halloween decorations and fall decorations? Well, my friend, I am here to show you how to do that. So let's start with project number one. The first project that's pretty easy is getting a piece of canvas art, either one that's been done at the Goodwill, which this one was already painted. All I did was stencil welcome on it. And then I got a, look at this, leaf garland from the dollar store. I didn't even know they made this, but it had sparkle in it. So of course it caught my eye. I just put that on the canvas piece and this makes some really great signage for your front porch. The second thing that I found at the dollar store was scrapbook paper. Now you can get scrapbook paper anywhere that you want, Michael's, Joanne Fabric, Hobby Lobby, but I found it at the dollar store and I went on a leaf scavenger hunt with my kids. So you can, again, pull them into the fall decor project and we traced the leaf and then I laminated it because I put their pictures on it. And then you hang these leaves as garland across your fireplace or the wall or somewhere where they can see it and year after year we bring it back and they get to see how much they've aged in that year which is just so much fun and because we can't go home without doing a DIY project that includes concrete right <laughs> so the last one is I took paper mache pumpkins that I found at the dollar store cut out the top and I poured quickrete into the mold after they were done they came out now this is actually another one that i found at the dollar store which i was trying to fashion after i love this one because it has the gems on it but i took the mold of it and i did concrete and i did two or three different sizes i did small ones and i did a bigger one and i did a small can they had a silicone a pumpkin mold that I poured concrete into it and then I took drawer pulls that they had inexpensive ones and I stuck it into the mold while it was still wet let it dry and now I have little drawer pulls that have pumpkins on them and I can stick them next to the sign art out on my front porch as a little it's a little stand that I have that I just change out the drawer knobs to make it more festive for the fall so I'm going to show you a video of how I did that and then I'll talk to you at the end after I poured the concrete into the mold, I had to let it sit for a day or two in order for it to really solidify. Then I took a utility knife and I had to cut it off of the mold. And I was trying to be as careful as I could so I didn't like crack the cement, but you ha it took a little bit of maneuvering in order to get it but you can see it's almost like paper mache it came off and I, as soon as I got it started I was able to peel it off and I will admit that I probably should have used a little bit of sanding paper in order to get the rest of the little pieces of paper off because it did stick to it really well so after I was done taking care of the larger pumpkin I moved on to the silicone mold and I did several several batches of these. I did several that were just the pumpkin and then I did ones that I actually stuck the drawer pull in. After I was done with the drawer pulls, I took the folk art paint. I did a copper color with a little bit of metallic in it because I just like the metallic colors. And I used a little paintbrush in order to get into the crevices. And it took me a couple minutes to make sure that the whole pumpkin was prepared with the paint. Now, I did not prime it. I just stuck it straight onto the pumpkin. This was going to be in the rain, and if I was going to do it again, I'd probably seal it. You can see from one of the ones that I showed you earlier in the video, the paint did come off after several seasons out in the weather, but um, I was pretty happy with the outcome of it because this paint really is vibrant, and it sets off the items that you're going to set it next to. 
After I got done painting my items and let them dry, I used some tiny dowel rods and I put some like amazing glue on it. And I don't even remember which glue I used when I did this project, but it took just a couple of seconds to dry onto the back of the concrete. And I used these as little markers to put into the mums that I purchased. And they are used year after year and you can stack them up because they're very lightweight. And if I were to do it again, I would probably use a piece of duct tape on the back of it just to make sure that, that after they dried um, because they did tend to fall off after the second or third season from the weather getting kind of tossed and turned in the wind so that's just one thing that i would change but i painted those as well and again i use them over and over in different places for the plants that you use out in the fall and it's it's a really fun decor item to to kind of hide within the mums I've found that I've really enjoyed doing some of these DIY fall decor items in concrete because you can pull them out year after year and other than maybe needing to paint them after a few seasons out, but the good thing is is that you could paint them a different color to match your decor and they're really not going to be destroyed unless you really are hard on concrete. So this is a great budget friendly DIY project because you can get multiple years out of their use. I hope you enjoyed that video on how to use concrete and quickrete in order to make some DIY fall decor items also using the things from the dollar store or Goodwill. So if you would like to stay in touch with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we do things like this every week that's going to help you with your budget friendly home decor and home improvement ideas. Also in the description below, go there right now and grab your free downloads that we have on our website at pinktoolgirl.com. We want to stay in touch with you. So until next week, see you later.